but one person who has been conquering and winning and in as much prayers are great i think she's doing really really well is zarika our mega star our superstar and our champion the iron fist is in studio mazina nilikuwa nataka ukamna hizo my gloves alafu kukam through nazo ha au kuniambia sindio sawa ni producer wangu tumgene karibu sana trend nashukuru manzi zarika the whole country is talking about you how does that feel Uh, na feel poor kusema kweli sababu kama country mzima inaongea juu yako hiyo ni kitu kingine ambapo unafaa kujivunia sababu ni watu wenye ambao wanako appreciate mm, kweli mm. na hata tuanze studio yako basi mwanzo kabla tufike hapo sasa mali umefika mpaka unajulikana kama Ewan Fist mpaka sasa ukabadilisha jina ukajulikana kama Fatuma <laughs> asalamu alaikum waalaikum salam ndio hivyo sasa wacha basi tuanze when you were much younger where did you grow up satellite Ah nili grow up satellite. Mhm. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa, wa satellite. Yeah, ulikuwa na how many brothers sisters? Ah uh, niko na Musa peke yake. Mhm. Ah uh, tuko wawili. Mhm. Ndio tume grow satellite tukiwa sisi wote. Yeah. Na tukajaribu nikajaribu ku move kutafuta life pia. Mhm. Uh, ku at least kuweza kusaidia brother yangu ndio ili aweze kusoma. Yeah. Uh, Uka drop out of school. Nili drop out. Ulikuwa how old? Uh, nilikuwa kitu kama miaka 15 wakati ambapo nilitoka shule. Ulitoka shule kwa sababu ya ndio ya ndio yani fees haiko inaweza kutosha nyote wawili. Fee haiko inatosha juu mm. si ni watu wenye ambao tumelewa na madhe peke yake. Mm. So alikuwa anajaribu sana ku struggle ili tuweze kupata kitu ya kula ama tupate kusoma ama mavazi vitu kama hizo ama kulipa nyumba. Mm. So ndio mimi nikaona ya kwamba afadhali Musa asome na mimi niende nikatafute kitu ya kufanya ndio ili niweze kusaidia mama. Yeah. Mm. Wow, that's very good of you. Alafu sasa uka, ukaweza kumaliza shule ama ikawaje? Uh, mpaka sasa hii sikuweza kurudi shule. Urudi, ukawa tano tu na ukaendelea na hustle. Ukaingia kwa grind. Nikweli. So sasa ulifanya biashara gani gani ama jobs gani gani hizo kabla sasa uingie katika boxing? Uh, before ningie boxing kuna kazi zenye nilikuwa nafanya mimi nile Nilikuwa nime nilitoa na mama mmoja akanipatia kazi ya nyumba nikafanya fanya mm-hmm. wakati ambapo nilifanya nikatoka hapo tena nikaenda tena nikatafutiwa kazi nyingine tena nika kuchunga mama mwingine mama mzee tu mm. kumchunga nikawa namchunga alafu nikaona ah bado life sioni vile ina, ina yani si party vile na, nataka ndio ni kajaribu kutoka satellite nikaenda South B at least kuenda, kuenda kutafuta ni nini Kenya ambapo nafaa kufanya ndio nikapata rafiki yangu mmoja alikuwa jirani hapo mwanamke nikamwambia maybe nataka ku join boxing ama football from nowhere yeah hivyo tu hivyo tu huko mwenye wana team mtu ame box kana yeye anataka kusoma okay, okay niliona fight za Leila Ali mm. nikaona ah i think naweza jaribu boxing maybe inaweza nisaidia ama inaweza kunipatia life nyingine tofauti wow uh. so mama alimpata api huyo mama alimpata south b yeah. na huyo mama akani introduce kwa jamaa mwingine alikuwa anaishi madhare north mm-hmm. so nikapelekwa huko wakati ambapo nilipelekwa huko madhare north huyo mama nikaitwa watu wawili ambapo niko Justina na de mmoja alikuwa anacheza football nikajaribu nikaambia ni jaribu zote mm-hmm. nione nini Kenya ambapo nataka kufanya nikajaribu football nikaona aya hii haileti shangwe so <laughs> nikapelekwa tena kwa gym wakati nilipelekwa kwa gym nikasema hiyo ndio nataka yeah uh, ndio sasa ukaichagua ndio nikaichagua uka uh, yani ukaichukua ukaenda nayo nikaenda nayo Ten. then you went to the states yeah ulienda ulienda lini ah uh, states nimekuwa nilikuwa huko ilikuwa tu tu six nilikuwa huko mm tuo 5 bado nilikuwa huko mm-hmm. so nilikuwa huko mara mbili mm-hmm. kuna wakati ambapo nilienda na sikucheza game ulikuwa umeenda kwa nini ulikuwa umeitwa nilikuwa nimeitwa na jamaa mm-hmm. nilikuwa na promoter mwingine nikaenda nikacheza game moja kwanza kucheza game moja nikamwambia ya kwamba juu hiyo game haina pesa so maybe naweza ka at least niweze kucheza game zingine mbili ndio ni rudi nyumbani so nikakaa lakini sikuweza kucheza game nikarudi tena kurudi ndiye akanipigia simu tena akaniambia nafaa kurudi huko nikarudi Marekani sasa yeah. mm-hmm. so nikarudi 206 Na ni wakati gani basi sijui kama ni huyo promoter the same one ambaye alikuwa katuko kwa nyumba kwanza kufanya kazi ya nyumba 
Yaani hauendi there are no matches his booking uko tu nyumbani unawasha vyombo unawasha nguo ilikuwa ni huyo promoter yani ni kweli ilikuwa ni yeye ndio ndiko na na kapo na osha vyombo na osha nyumba na pika mpaka wakati mwingine kuniambia kwamba i think unafaa kuacha boxing sasa ukue unapikia maboksa wangu alikwambia hivyo sasa <laughs> mimi nikamwambia kwamba ni boxing imenileta hapa siku wacha boxing tena nianze kupikia maboksa wako so unanibeba ni kama mimi si boxer yeah hizo ni vitu zenye ambapo nilikuwa napitia saa zingine saa zingine hata ni trainishi naenda na train peke yangu napewa fight naenda peke yangu hivyo hivyo tu mm. yeah. una na ni kwa sababu ulikuwa wewe ni mwanamke yeah. alafu pia unajua hizi changamoto pia mtu pitia hata hapa nyumbani ni ukweli una experience bado hiyo mambo ya kwa sababu you're a female boxer it's just not your place ni male dominated una experience kama Uh, kusema kweli kama hapa hivi sioni ya kwamba kama ati mwanamke anabebwa kando mm-hmm. ati ya kwamba juu yes, si, si mwanaume so hatuwezi kumtrainisha ama hatuwezi kumfanya nini lakini hiyo kitu nilienda kuiona huko Amerika sababu sikujua ya kwamba kama wana, wanawake ubebwa tofauti lakini ilikuwa ni kwake yeye peke yake juu nilikuwa nikiangalia maboksa wengine wako na matrainer wao na ni wanaume na wanaikuwa vizuri. Mm. So I think ni kitu nyambapo alikuwa amedharau kama sisi wa Afrika vitu kama hizo. Mm. Ah. Okay. Na kama mwanamke Muislamu, mm. inakuleta shida kidogo kwa sababu unajua hii ni yani ni mchezo ambao mara nyingi watu wana you know they align it with men more than women. Hiyo ni ukweli kabisa inaleta shida saa zingine sababu kuna mjomba wangu uh, aliniambia vizuri sana wewe ni Muislamu na ufai kucheza boxing. Mm. Ufai kuingia kwa ring uko unatembea kichwa yako iko bure bure unavaa troza mm. vitu kama hizo. Mimi nikamwambia kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu si lazima ujifunike kichwa. Naweza kuwa na madhambi mingi <laughs> na ninajifunika buibui na natembea kule nje. Ni roho yangu. Mm. So na hii ni talenti yenye Mwenyezi Mungu amenibariki nayo. Mm-hmm. So siezi yacha hivyo. Nitaifanya mm-hmm na nitazidi tu kuomba mpaka mm. nisaidie. Jina Iron Fist katoka api? Jina Iron Fist imetoka kulingana na kuna movie yenye ambapo nilikuwa na watch ilikuwa inaitwa Iron Fist. Mhm. Ah, uh, jamani alikuwa anapenda sana kutumia mkono yake ya right na nikaona ya kwamba pia mimi na mimi mkono wangu wa right uko na nguvu na hiyo ndio mimi upenda kutumia sana sana juu hata nikinoku watu down mkono yangu ya right ndiye anakuanga nzuri. Mm-hmm. So na mimi nikajiita Iron Fist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Na ikaendelea hivyo na sasa kila mtu anaendelea hivyo na kila mtu wako. Yeah. You got a lot of love. Yeah. Uliona yeah. vile watu walija? Ni ukweli. Ulipo how did you feel? Nil feel poor juu ni kitenye ambapo sijai tarajia kitu kama na sijai ona kitu kama hiyo. Mm-hmm. Na sikuwa nimetarajia kitu kama hiyo ta happen. Mm-hmm. Juu ni kitenye ambapo wakati nilitoka nje changing room kuangalia tu nje nilis Okay. nilistuka nikafikiria kwa kidogo tuangalie juni vitu zenye ambapo tumezoea watu yeah. wa kujangi boxing vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. uh, watu wanasema kwamba ah boxing hii ya Kenya si si boxing ya maana unaona so nilishanga sana wakati ambapo niliona watu wamejaa mm-hmm. alafu naangalia naona huko nje bado kuna watu eh, nilifeel poor by then nilisema kwamba kumbe kumbe wa Kenya wananipenda Yeah. yeah. It was very it must have been you know just amazing. Yeah. Kutoka naona hiyo yeah. alafu ukashinda. Alafu nikashinda. Manzi. Yeah. But you you know you've won so many. You know I was trying to look through and Zarika yani ameshinda kushinda. She is um you know she, she's won first of all she's a mother of two eh and then at the same time ameshinda so many different belts. Mm-hmm. Yani ume ume hold title 2016, 2017 mm-hmm. and yeah. 2018 as the only Kenyan and the only African to hold that same belt yeah. as Laila Ali that is Muhammad Ali his daughter yeah. and besides the WBC title mm. she's also won Women's International Boxing Federation World um a title back in 2007 yeah. the Women's International Boxing Federation World Super title back in 2008 yani hizi vitu umeshinda ukashinda eh nimeshinda nikashinda lakini unataka ku retire 2020 ni kweli kwa nini ah uh, sababu ya ku retire sababu nimecheza for long pia nafaa kufundisha pia watu wengine at least waweze kukuja watu wenye ambao watajitokezea at least pia tupate boxer mwingine kama Zarika mm. eh ama Konje umeweza kwenda kumuona Konje ah uh, Konje tulikuwa tumemtafuta timu ya Sport Pesa imemtafuta na inaendelea bado kumtafuta so i think wako na plan tunafaa kwenda kumuona okay yeah. watoto wako wanaona mamu anapigana unawaambia nini <laughs> 
Watoto wangu mimi appreciate sana sababu tumekuwa nao kwa shida, kwa raha. Mm. Mambo yote nyambapo nimepitia bado wanakuwa na mimi, mm -hmm. wananipatia support, yeah. wananiambia kwamba ni si give up. Life itakuja kubadilika maybe one day. Hiyo ndio au ndio marafiki zangu, mabeshte zangu na ni familia yangu. Kwa wanawake ambao wanatazama show sasa hii lakini wanaogopa kidogo kuingia katika hii box. Unaona ni ngumu. I don't even know which one is the right hook. I don't even I can't even like I'll just fight like this. Wanaogopa wanasema ah inakani kama ni vitu wanaume. Unawaambia nini? Ah uh, ningependa kuambia kwamba boxing si ya wanaume. Mm -hmm. Boxing ni ya wanawake. Na uelewe kwamba mwanamke unaweza fanya better hata kuliko mwanaume. <laughs> so si lazima ya kwamba ati useme pale ati mimi juu mimi ni mwanamke siwezi fanya boxing. Alafu kitu ya kwanza, kitu ya pili Si lazima ufanya boxing ndio ati uende kwa ringo ukapigane. Self defense ni kitu kingine ya maana sababu kitu yote inaweza happen. Mm -hmm. Au uongojei mtu akuja kusaidia yeah. ni wewe mwenyewe. Okay. Yeah. All right. So sasa watu wako gopi? Uko kwa isto uko. Hapana. <laughs> Waseme manze dakika, hey, wewe kuzushana na yeye anaanza kukuni. Wewe kuna watu wanaogopa lakini wengine wa kotu marafiki tu okay. juni wanakuja wananisalimia. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Zarika, the Iron Fist, yeah. live in studio. Thank you so much for coming through, Zarika. Thank you. 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 Aya, so sasa tusimame. Yeah. Eh? Wakati tumesimama, jo. Mm -hmm. So ukisimama hivi, mm -hmm. ndio ajabu. Na okay. ngumi ni lazima, uh -huh. si lazima ukikunja hivi, uh -huh. si nzuri. Uh -huh. So unakunja. Unakunja hivi. Of course si itakuwa na kucha hiyo wakati. Eh. So unakunja uh -huh. uki. No. Okay, nifanya tu hivi. Uh -huh. Iyo ndo ya kwanza. Hivi uh -huh. kificha ni kana kuchua macho. Hivo. Uh -huh. Hivo. Nice one. Ah, you guy. <laughs> The next one, tunana <laughs> pamoja. Yes, tunana pamoja. Thank you so much, Zarika. Usha watu wanasama nini katika mtandao? Also, um, uh, because of uh, Zarika, what are they saying online? All right, fine. So Usha is having a technical issue. That's fine. But we do have the incredible talent that is somewhere in the building about to show you what they could do. All right, guys. So that's how you know it's a live show. Sometimes we just have those moments that things happen, and then they just, they just, they happen. All right. So now our um, meme challenge, as we told you before, this is a picture. We want you to hit us up at the trend live and tell us what you think or what you feel about the picture, what your thoughts are. Nini ni na fanika po? Msano sha nini? Mi siyele zari kani ni na fanika po koi picture? I think ano sha po chini. Ano sha umtaje inje? No, ano sha. Barabara. Siele. Uko watu ushaka barabara. Ufimbaji wa mkwa mkwa satelite. Uto wala kusha barabara. Maybe ya na jaribu waone kama itangara. Barabara ya mchanga. Iyo haile wiki. Anyway so. Atiyama. Anaimogia maji. Asidu. Ndiyo yeze kwa. Isikuwe na vumbi. Oh na vumbi yes. But lakini na mop. Si. Sasa nafanyafanya hivi na mop. All right. The hashtag is the trend live. Where uh, hashtag is Hey Amina at the trend live. We're gonna take a short commercial break. When we get back, we talk about I made it in Kenya. <laughs>